Autodesk Vault recently introduced shared views straight inside the vault. So shared views have been around for a couple of years and it's a great way to share data between people uh, or you know to your clients um, as well as having it you know sort of they can measure up things they can do section views and I think it's quite a nice nice little thing that you can you can it expires after 30 days you can obviously you know click on it extend it to 30 days again and just keep on doing that um, so that it's not on the cloud all the time so how do we create a shared view in in, in vault so once you you've got vault open you can go to where the component is and on the right hand side you'll just notice that there's a shared views over here so currently I've got no shared views available to me so if I right click on my feed and hopper assembly you'll see there I've got share view so click on share view it allows me to give a name and my options is to hide the component names and also hide the part properties um, there's a hyperlink to learn more about shared views I'm gonna leave it like this and just click on share okay so now it processes the drawing uh, to make it ready to um, put it up onto into the cloud now please note that you do need a, a username and an Autodesk username and password for this if you're going to make any comments on it so if your clients or the person that you are sending or your colleague that you're sending this to does need to just make comments red line markups and that gets reflected back to yourself or you know into the shared view then please make sure that they've got a valid Autodesk username and password Okay, so I can copy the link and go put it into my, my email, um, send it email to somebody. I can just maybe just view it in my browser just to see what is going on. Opens up my viewer.autodesk.com site. And in here you can see the, the newly created shared view that I have created. Now at the top over there, you know, sign in. So I've already got an account, so I can just click on sign in. But if you don't have an account, you can sign up for free. Like I said, the signing up is just for the, the commenting purposes over here. Click on sign in and put my details in here. You can see it's still loading up in the background and it's now ready for me to go. So I'm just going to go and sign in over here with my username and password and then I'm good to go. So there we go. So now I've got my my feed and hopper assembly and i can see all my components here great look at that oh it looks beautiful okay so what can we do with this let's just zoom out quickly um at the bottom you can see i've got obviously my home view so sitting on the side fit it into screen i can orbit i can pan zoom use a first person i can also do a section view so i can say right let's go and do a section on my X Y plane and then just go and drag it up and down here so there we go okay so there is my section view okay then I can also measure from uh, certain areas okay let's just go measure from there to there oh, sorry just go measure here let's just get a, a nicer view okay so let's go measure from that point to that point over there so it gives you my x y and my z coordinates over there you can explode this as well okay and with exploding um it allows me just to drag on this little cursor over here and you can see it actually explodes it quite nice you can see exactly how that works over there and the last one we can do markups and like i said for the markups um you need to have signed in so it's going to do a little cloud over there maybe put an arrow you know another arrow oh please look at me look at me okay so once that's done select save and it saves up as a comment um, over here so if I go to my comments you'll see there my first component plus as well my markup that I did at 414 okay so once that's done I don't have to click on save or anything like that everything is saved to the cloud so if I go back to my my vault okay you'll see that it will update my shared views. So there we go. Created on the September, um, I think it's the 19th today, and then there's one comment. So just another way that, you know, we, we're getting Vault to integrate very tightly with shared views and how Autodesk is, is really bringing us some nice technology for sharing information between our clients and colleagues. Thank you very much for watching.